Hey y'all, it's Beard Thrift Machine. Today is going to be like a little vlog video, like what I do all day. So real quick, I'm running a little late. Got up at seven o'clock, as you can see right here. 7.22. What we have to do right now is go over to the storage unit because I sold a fishing rod, and then come back and pack a whole bunch of things that sold overnight. So let's go do that. Well, here's the storage unit. I know it is a mess. This one actually right here, though, a guy bought this on uh, eBay as a local pickup about two weeks ago, and today we're supposed to be actually meeting at 5.30 to see if he's gonna pick this thing up. Hopefully he is. It's, if you've been watching uh, my Instagram, I picked this thing up for like five bucks and he sold it for it, and I sold it for $100 local pickup, so that's pretty nice. And then this is the fishing rod back here. I have all my bigger fishing rods back here, and this is called a Tiger, and I'm hoping this is a two-piece because I don't have any more poster tubes. They're on order. I always forget because this right here will not put, fit into a uh, one inch poster tube. That's going to be a three inch poster tube. And this is a pretty good rod. This thing sold for, there you go, this thing sold for uh, 75 bucks and it's even damaged. So that's a pretty nice rod. The damage is right there on the cork. Even if you see fishing rods that have damage, they still sell pretty decent because, like I said, 75 bucks for this paid five dollars a yard sale for it all right now we are back it's time to feed this guy come here bud and give him his medicine we got this new bowl for him it actually uh makes him eat a lot slower so that's nice because he was eating too fast to give himself a belly ache so he really doesn't like the camera too much which is a shame because he's so cute what's wrong buddy what's wrong he's like dad it's time to give me my medicine all right, so we had some orders last night right here. The first order is a router craftsman. Actually, I actually already know where this is because I, I only got two routers. One's a uh, Milwaukee and this one's a router. What I do is basically I just saran wrap them so it keeps it all nice and, and pretty. And then this should fit in the number seven box. And then we have a Department 56 H14 going out. Now, I already pulled one last night because it sold last night. And then I have all them custom skewed on these two shelves. And H14 is, I'm guessing, somewhere right there. H14 is a big box. Uh, hopefully I got a box for that. Actually, that box right there looks like it might fit in here. And that's why I don't uh, take my boxes down. Because you never know when you're going to get a bigger container or a bigger package. And you need to like look at the size of the box. And this one right here sold, that is going to be a H5, and the one sold for $29.99. Full sold a Vintage Challenger Flex Head Ratchet. Uh, all my ratchets, this, I just listed this one about two months ago. So, this is the Flex Head Ratchet. All of them are custom skewed right there. And these Flex Head Rackets, uh, they always sell for me. So, a Flex Head Racket, a regular ratchet does not have this break in it right here this one see how it goes back and forth these are very popular people like them they sell all the time this one's an older one has like a nice tight ratchet in it definitely a good sale there i got it for about a quarter and it sold for 15 dollars plus shipping so the person paid 25 bucks for everything so we're going to go ahead and get these things wrapped up and then uh do the fishing rod so the fishing rod was a two-piece fishing rod, so that's good. So it breaks down like this. So this is really easy to ship. This is going to go in one of those triangle boxes that I put golf clubs in. Most likely, I'll have to just extend the box slightly. But other than that, not too bad. And then what I do is, is to protect the eyes, because they're the most important part, is I cut little strips of bubble wrap, and I wrap them around the, everything, and then I use saran wrap instead of tape, because you could probably use tape, but you want to keep it on the bubble wrap if you use tape and don't get tape on the cork or the um, uh, foam here because it puts a sticky residue on it and there ain't nothing worse than a sticky uh, foam fishing rod thing it just they don't ever come real clean after you do that so I would not use tape on this I use saran wrap all the time so let's go ahead and get this done So 
ta-da! And I just had to add a little bit of extension right there on there and that's not a big deal. So that fits in there perfectly for a two-piece rod. All right, so it's going on 8.45. I packed everything and then uh, this is the time where I just drink coffee and sit here and reply to you guys. So if you guys comment on any of my stuff, I do that in the morning and I throughout the day, if you comment, I also like look at them. But mostly anything that comes in after like 8 p.m. I do in the morning. So that's when I sit down, look at all my Instagram stuff, post a couple things on Instagram and then do all my YouTube stuff. And then, uh, but today, I think I have 11 packages going out. Let's go take a look. I think it's 11. I'm almost 100% sure. So there's going to be 11 packages going out. And two of them are going to FedEx. And somebody asked the other day, well, why are you going to FedEx instead of just taking everything to the post office? It's because some of that was sold on Macari. And uh, they picked, I had picked FedEx for a cheaper price. So not that big of a deal. So I want to go ahead and load this stuff in the car. It was about through all platforms about $400. That's been my going, uh, actually it's a little bit above average. That's my going rate for a day now, it's $400 gross. That is not net, that is gross, so that includes everything. All right, so going on 11 o'clock here, got all the stuff done that I needed to, Got went to the post office, FedEx, Picked up Biko's food, stopped and got myself some food because I forgot to eat breakfast, which I actually been tending to do in the morning now. I don't eat breakfast until like 10.30, but I wake up at 7.30 or 6. I don't know. I just drink coffee, then whenever I get hungry, I eat. But I'm going to show you guys exactly what I'm going to try to list today and what my goal is. So let's do that. So right here is going to be my goal for the day. Again, all Department 56 stuff. I think there's going to be, I'm going to try to do 11 today. So these are the ones, and they're all pretty good. And the other day I said I had a whole bunch of Snow Village ones. I actually don't. I have a whole bunch of the North Pole series and the Heritage series, and that's the only ones I'll be listing today. There's going to be, again, 10 to 11. I have three more over here uh, that I need to list right here. But these actually are the ones that are broken or missing stuff. There's three so far that don't. There, there's something wrong with them that I need to actually take a look at. And a lot of them are missing the cords or something, so hopefully I can find those because they really don't sell. There's so much competition when it comes to these Department 56s is that they got to be in really good condition. So what I'm going to do is show you how I set them up. And I basically use this thing. It's a dreary day outside. As you can tell, it's been like raining here for a while. And Kayla's, uh, Kayla's flowers are dead. We have been trying to keep these mums alive forever and they just keep dying and we don't know why but our fall stuff is up which is nice but it's a dreary day so what i do is which is nice because i close this curtain like this it makes it super dark and then i take the pictures right here and then when i want to light them up without their lights i use you know uh, a big light here and then just a really small ring light right here so i'll set one up and i will show you exactly what that looks like all right so here is one right here set up and this is how i usually take the picture now when it comes out on the phone it's a little bit brighter than this and it just shows that it's really nice and as you can tell the backdrop is nice and dark and it shows this this one's actually pretty cool this is a reindeer flight school and uh it's got all these little things on there like these come off so they don't break or anything but this is one that's like a glitter bomb. See all that glitter right there? It comes off the top of this. And there's so much of the glitter, it just takes forever to clean this stuff up. But I'm not complaining. It's just if you are doing this and you're starting to like take them out of the package and there's like clothes that you're selling nearby or really anything you don't want glitter on, uh, that might be a concern because once you open this thing up, it just spews its glitter goodness everywhere but this is actually a really nice one i don't know how much comps out for i'll throw it up on the screen here in a second but uh i'm gonna go ahead and get these things done and hopefully you get about 11 done today boom there it is all right, so right there, it is going on two o'clock. It is 1.53 and I have already done 15 of those. They do make a mess. Let me show you exactly what this looks like now. It's just, there's glitter. That is all glitter. Like, 
it's everywhere. This stuff makes a mess. So I like to do it all once, then I'll clean everything. And then what I'll do is that'll be it for the day. Like I have some other stuff that I gotta get done. I gotta clean the uh, the garage and everything, but 15 done. I might do two or three smaller items later. All the Sensi stuff has actually been listed. I listed that the other day, so that's good. And I'm still gonna push hard on these Department 56s. I might clean all this up and then try to lease list maybe five later on tonight. Uh, eBay sales are pretty slow today, so I might have more time to list tonight rather than packing. And uh, at two o'clock, almost every day, I start getting tired. And the best way to get untired for me is I actually go to the gym. So what I'm going to do now is get ready to go to the gym. It is 1.54. I like to be there by 2.15 to beat the crowd. Because if you get there like 3.30, there's just so many people there that you can't even move. So two o'clock, there's usually nobody in my dream gym. So I'm going to go do that and then come back and hopefully list some more stuff and meet that guy later on tonight to give him his stuff he bought off of eBay. So, uh... All right, so the eBay deal is about ready to go down. Like I said, this guy purchased this about a week ago or two weeks ago, really, and said that he would be in the Myrtle Beach area to pick it up so he had saved on shipping. And I showed you what it was, that Titleist thing. I told him that I live about 10 minutes away from the place and I do. And I told him, you know, whenever you're close, our time was supposed to be at 5.30. It's 5 o'clock and he says he's already there. And he never messaged me that he was there. So already... I'm like, uh, this is, you know, I don't like anything that switches up. So uh, we'll see how this goes. I'll probably keep the video running just in case, like, if I get robbed or something, you guys can help me out. I don't know, maybe. But uh, we'll see how it goes. Usually the eBay meetups are very, uh, usually they happen pretty easy. They're not like Facebook Marketplace or anything like that. Um, or Craigslist or anything like that. Usually they're legit. I've done about three or four of them. Let me put my seatbelt on. Okay, got it. Now we're on the road. Usually when you do an eBay meetup, there is something that you scan with your phone or there's a code that you put in that they are emailed. So it does state that they have picked it up, they received it, and the transaction's over because this has been pending on my eBay for two weeks so well, since he's bought it. So it looks like I have to ship an item, but it's, it's not marked against you because it's for local pickup it just says arrange for pickup so we'll see how it goes like i said we're about ready to pull up here in, in a minute or so so we'll uh hopefully this goes smoothly so what a terrible time for my camera to die the battery died in the camera since i've been using it all day long uh the guy showed up 30 minutes early it was perfect but when you do those ebay pickups remember that you have to scan something or type the code in that they get to wipe it off of your like to-do list on eBay because it'll always be pending until you do that. Once you scan it or type that in, then boom, uh, it, it shows that he has received it. Everything worked out good, so I'm glad that worked out. It was perfect. Also, I want to just go over real quick. This uh, today, again, I did 17 listings. This was the most expensive Department 56 that I listed today. It is the Department 56 Rudolph's Misfit, Misfit Toys, and I got this one listed for like 80 bucks. So this one's a really good one to look out for uh, because I think actually when it was purchased, it was only purchased for $70. That's what it says on the tag. And the person got an extra 50% off. So really they probably got this thing for like 35 bucks or 40 bucks. So that one definitely went up. Again, that is the Rudolph's Misfit Toys. So if you see that one out there and you get it for a good deal, definitely pick it up because it looks like the sell-through rate's pretty good on it too. So right there, that's gonna wrap up the video. I do appreciate everybody that watches. If you're not subscribed to the video, always remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video, give me a comment down below, and you know I will always get you on the next one.